Hello, and welcome to Tang Disk Unlocking. In this video, we will demonstrate how to unlock a LUX version 1 root file system automatically using Tang. On the left, you see a virtual machine with an encrypted root file system. This will be the client. On the right hand side, we will set up a Tang server. To set up the server, we first install the package. Now that this is complete, we enable systemd socket activation. On the left hand side you may notice that a password is required. We will enter that now. Returning to the right side we need to generate two keys, one for signatures and one for recovery. That's it, the server side configuration is complete. Turning to the client we still need to bind its encrypted file system to our server. First we install the necessary packages. Next, we issue the bind command specifying the root volume's block device and the hostname or IP address of the server. This command will prompt us for two pieces of information. First, it will ask us to confirm that we trust the signature keys of the server. Second, it will ask us for one of the existing LUX passwords. Finally, we need to rebuild the init ramfs. This step only needs to be performed once after installing the Tang Drocket subpackage. For the sake of demonstration, we have stopped the Tang server to show that it will automatically restart when the client attempts to connect. When the client reboots, it will immediately attempt to contact the server, causing the server to start, as you can see here. Upon successful negotiation, boot will continue without the need for a password. So what happens when the server isn't available? Let's find out. This time we will stop both the systemd service and socket so that the server cannot restart automatically. Notice that the boot process does not continue automatically. To boot, just type one of the existing passwords. That's it. It really is that easy. For more information, check out our website. Thanks for watching.